So now I'm ready to start adding texture to my Percy. So if you notice, I have already finished gluing my Percy down. I have gotten my newspaper, my paint in a cup. I'm not touching my paint. My paper is on the newspaper because we don't want to get paint on the tables. And if you notice, I have my cup right here too. I don't really want to put my cup on Percy because I want him to stay white. So I want to make sure that my cup is kind of over to the side. When I see that you're ready, I'm going to give you a piece of cardboard. Now, if you choose the long side, you're going to have very long texture on Percy. If you choose the shorter side, you're going to have shorter texture on Percy. And I am going to choose the shorter side. Now, once you choose that side, the black paint can only touch that one side, okay? You can't flip it around and change the texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my cardboard in my black paint, and then I'm gonna start adding the texture around my Percy. So I'm going to add the lines, and notice I'm not going back to my cup every single time, okay? But after I do like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I do need to do that. Now, when I'm getting my paint, am I scooping the paint? Nope. Am I scraping the paint on the side? Nope. I'm just dipping it in my cup. And if you notice, I'm also kind of changing the direction of how I'm doing my cardboard so that all my lines are not completely straight. I have some that are diagonal. Um, the cardboard is just a piece of cardboard. So if you notice, all I'm doing is tapping it on my paper. If you, if you fold the cardboard, it's not gonna work as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave a bowl of cardboard out so if, just in case, your cardboard kind of gets messed up, you can actually just take your piece of cardboard, go throw it in the trash, grab another one, and start the process over. But I will warn you, if you end up doing that, you are going to, the chances are, you're going to get a piece of cardboard that's a different size, and so that might mess up your Percy. So what I do is I use the same cardboard the entire time, because I want all of my spikes on my Percy to look the same. And I think he looks super adorable and very textury. And I'm gonna go all the way around my Percy. Okay, now once you think he looks full, you may wanna go around again and there's maybe a couple spots. If you notice, I'm not dragging my cardboard. I'm not scraping it on my paper. I'm literally just tapping it, okay? Now, I never set my cardboard down. Um, and I don't wanna do that because if I set my cardboard down, I'm either gonna get paint on the table or I could possibly get them on my purse and I don't wanna do that. So once I have it in my hand, I wanna make sure that I'm super, super careful and not drop it. So say that I'm done and my whole artwork is complete. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take my cardboard, I'm gonna throw it in the trash first. That's the very first thing that I'm gonna do because I don't have anywhere to put it. I'm gonna take my cup then and I'm gonna go put my cup back where I found it on the counter. And then once I've done that, I can carry my artwork to the dry rack. If I have any paint on my hands, I should not be getting the paint off of my hands or washing my hands until my whole table is completely cleaned up. 